Hey, if you remember last week's shoot with Marissa, I talked about creating your own shade to make better portraits in harsh sunlight. And one way was by using a pop-up reflector. Today I'm gonna do another shoot with her, but I'm gonna delve way deeper into the various color options available with this useful piece of photo equipment. Some photo reflectors come with a cover that has different colors on it and it'll give you a number of unique looks. There are many brands that have a similar setup, but today I'm using the Westcott 42 inch 6-in-1 reflector, which has four different color options. Let's talk about why you might use one color or the other. The silver side is pretty harsh and very reflective. It's almost like using a mirror and gives you a lot of punch when you bounce the light. The gold side has the same harsh punch as the silver, but it changes the color to a much warmer shade. It's almost unnatural looking, like a really golden deep sunset. Then there's a gold-silver mix, which Westcott calls sunlight. It might be my favorite because it's warmer than the cold silver side, but gives a more natural look than the full gold side. I personally find this to be the best balance between the two. The gold, silver, and sunlight sides can all be used as a main frontal key light since they nearly match the intensity of the sun in this case. The fourth color is a solid black and that simply blocks almost all the light from bouncing back. You can use this for negative fill or add in your own light by using speed lights or studio strobes. Lastly, you can take the cover off completely and use the reflector just by itself. The thick, solid material gives you a much softer reflection that's normally used to fill in shadows and won't overpower your main light. You won't see much of an effect on a cloudy day, but if you've got sunlight, use it to direct some of that light back up into the dark shadow areas. The sixth option for this 6-in-1 is a second reflector that's made of a more translucent material and can be used as diffusion. You can either put it between the sun and your model to soften the light and take away some of that contrast, or you can even shoot your flash through it to turn the small light source into a much bigger light source. So listen, a reflector is one of the first light modifiers that photographers buy when they're just starting to manipulate light. Get yourself a good one and there will be no end to the looks you can get. Hey, come back next week for my third and final shoot with Marissa. I'm going to have her running all around the tennis court and I'll give you some tips on shooting action without using a motor drive. Subscribe down below so you don't miss it and follow at David Bergman on social media to connect with me and maybe join me at a live workshop one day soon. See you next week.